Anticipation in Auckland, setting the stage. The air crackled with anticipation. Auckland's night sky pulsed with a nervous energy. Fans, clad in faded band tees, gathered at Mount Smart Stadium. A shared history, etched in music, united them. The stage, a behemoth of light and sound, awaited its conquerors. Years of anticipation hung in the air, thick and heavy. This wasn't just a concert, it was a pilgrimage. Whispers of past shows, legendary performances echoed around the stadium. Each story, a badge of honour. Tonight, new legends would be born. The lights dimmed, the crowd roared. A collective gasp swept through the stadium. Pearl Jam in the flesh emerged from the shadows. Stone Gassar, a guitar slung low, ripped into the opening riff of Corduroy. The crowd, a wave of humanity, surged forward. The energy was palpable. Mike McCready, a guitar wizard, unleashed a furious solo. The crowd, lost in the music, responded in kind. Their voices a chorus of passion filled the night. The set list was a carefully curated journey, a tapestry of sound and emotion woven together with precision and care. Early hits like Jeremy and Daughter transported the crowd back to their youth, evoking memories of simpler times and carefree days. Memories, awakened by the music, danced in their eyes, reflecting the joy and nostalgia that filled the air. Even Flo erupted from the stage, a raw outpouring of energy that electrified the atmosphere and set hearts racing. The crowd, a mosh pit of limbs and voices, rode the wave of sound. The stadium throbbed with the collective heartbeat of thousands. Each song, a familiar friend, brought back cherished memories and created new ones in the process. Each lyric, a shared experience, resonated deeply with everyone present uniting them in a moment of collective euphoria. For those few hours, the world outside ceased to exist. Only the music mattered, creating a sanctuary of sound and emotion. It was like stepping back in time, a nostalgic journey that bridged the past and the present. Every note, every word, it all felt so personal, you know? It was as if the music spoke directly to each individual soul. It was more than just a concert, it was a connection, a shared experience that transcended time and space, leaving an indelible mark on everyone who was there. Eddie Vedder, a shaman of sound, commanded the stage. His voice, raw and powerful, soared over the crowd. His words, imbued with honesty and vulnerability, resonated deep within their souls. Between songs, Vedder spoke of unity of hope of the power of music to heal. His words, laced with sincerity, touched every corner of the stadium. He was more than a frontman, he was a guide. His connection with the audience was undeniable. He fed off their energy and they in turn drew strength from his. It was a symbiotic relationship, a shared experience. The crowd, a sea of faces illuminated by the stage lights, was a sight to behold. Their energy never wavered, not for a single moment. They sang along to every word, every note. They danced with reckless abandon, lost in the music. They raised their hands towards the stage, reaching for the band, for the music, for something more. Their passion was infectious, spreading like wildfire through the stadium. It was impossible not to get swept up in the moment, to feel the power of the collective. Section 6, Alive in Auckland, a moment of shared humanity. And then it came. The opening chords of Alive reverberated through the stadium. A collective gasp, followed by a roar of approval, washed over the crowd. This wasn't just a song, it was an anthem. An anthem of resilience, of hope, of the enduring power of the human spirit. In that moment, everyone in the stadium was truly alive. Arms waved in unison, voices blended together in a powerful chorus. Tears streamed down faces, a testament to the raw emotion of the moment. It was a shared experience, a moment of collective transcendence. Section 7. Encore. Euphoria. Leaving the crowd. Wanting more. 
the final notes of the set faded into the night. The crowd, breathless but exhilarated, chanted for more. Pearl Jam, ever the showmen, did not disappoint. The encore was a gift, a final burst of energy. They played with a renewed ferocity, as if trying to cram every last ounce of passion into each note as the final chords of Yellow Leadbetter echoed into the night. A sense of bittersweet joy settled over the crowd. The journey was over, but the memories would last a lifetime. Section 8. Reflections, the power of music and memory. Leaving the stadium, the streets of Auckland throbbed with the echoes of the concert. The energy of the night was palpable, as if the very air was charged with the collective euphoria of thousands of fans. The city seemed to hum with a newfound vibrancy, a testament to the unifying power of music. Strangers exchanged smiles, united by the shared experience. It was as if the barriers that usually separate us in our daily lives had melted away, replaced by a sense of camaraderie and mutual understanding. In those fleeting moments, Everyone was part of a larger, harmonious whole. The music lingered in the air, a tangible reminder of the night's magic. Conversations buzzed with excitement as fans relived their favourite moments and shared their personal highlights. The melodies and lyrics seemed to float above the city, weaving an invisible thread that connected everyone who had been there. It's in these moments, surrounded by thousands of strangers who suddenly feel like kindred spirits, that the true power of music reveals itself. The shared experience of a live performance creates a bond that transcends the ordinary, turning a simple concert into a profound communal event. It transcends language, culture and time, forging connections that can last a lifetime. People from all walks of life, with different backgrounds and stories, come together united by the universal language of music. It's a reminder that despite our differences, we are all connected by our shared humanity. Pearl Jam's music, infused with raw emotion and unflinching honesty, has always possessed a unique ability to connect with people on a deeply personal level. Their songs speak to the human experience, touching on themes of love, loss and resilience. It's this authenticity that resonates so deeply with fans and on that night in Auckland, that connection was stronger than ever. The band's performance was electric, their passion and energy mirrored by the audience. It was a night that would be remembered not just for the music, but for the sense of unity and shared joy that it brought to everyone who was there. Section 9. A night etched in time. The enduring legacy of Pearl Jam. The Pearl Jam concert in Auckland was more than just a concert. It was an experience. It was a night where the air was electric, charged with anticipation and excitement. The crowd, a sea of faces from all walks of life, gathered together for one purpose, to witness the magic of Pearl Jam live. It was a celebration of music, of life, of the shared human experience. The band played with an intensity that resonated deeply with everyone present. Each note, each lyric, seemed to weave a tapestry of emotions that connected the audience in a profound way. It was a night that will stay with those who were lucky enough to be present forever. The memories of that evening, the feeling of being part of something larger than oneself, will linger in the hearts of the fans. As the years pass, the memories of that night will undoubtedly fade. The details may blur, the faces may become indistinct, but the essence of that experience will remain. But the emotions, the raw energy, the sense of connection, those will endure. The power of that night will be felt in the stories told, in the songs sung, in the moments of reflection. They will be passed down through stories, through shared memories, through the music itself. Friends will gather and reminisce, recounting the magic of that night, keeping the spirit of Pearl Jam alive. And so the legacy of Pearl Jam will live on, not just in their music, but in the hearts and minds of those who were touched by their art. Their songs will continue to inspire, to comfort, to bring people together. They are a band that matters, a band that makes a difference. Their music transcends time and space, 
reaching out to new generations of fans, creating a lasting impact. And for one night in Auckland, they reminded us all of the power of music to heal, to inspire, and to unite. It was a night that showcased the enduring legacy of Pearl Jam, a legacy that will continue to thrive for years to come. As the crowd dispersed, the echoes of the concert lingered in the air, a testament to the unforgettable experience. The legacy of Pearl Jam is not just in their music, but in the moments they create, the lives they touch, and the memories they leave behind. Their 